And even in today's Ukraine, of course, we can discern many traits which distinguish the local Galicians from people from other regions. Galicians are said to have a higher national awareness and a stronger pro-European feelings. And this is one of the factors why the Russian propaganda, now, I'm talking about now, uh, against the Ukrainian democratic movement is really focusing on Galicia or rather on persons connected with Galicia. Like for instance, Stepan Bandera, who for Russians seems to be the embodiment of evil. Putin speaks in his propaganda speeches usually not about Ukrainians, that's what uh, Yaroslav Hritsak points out, but about banderites, alleged fascists, ultra-nationalists, and rabid anti-Semites. Thus evoking, of course, the memory of the Great Patriotic War of 1941 to 1945. In Putin's interpretation, these banderites associated with Galicia try to drag Ukraine away from its true destination, which is to play the role, of course, of the smaller brother, of the big brother, and the smaller brother who is looking up to his big brother with admiration. The fact that the memory of Galicia and its myth have survived for such a long time comes, in my opinion, as a bitter surprise for the Russians. <laughs>